Um, but uh, why is everyone slowing down? Oh shit, is the train coming? No, no, the lights aren't on. Wait, is this a traffic jam? In Lansing? Oh, no, there's just this random guy dragging an axe or something. What is this? Oh, it's a dead animal. Shit. Oh, God. How is the car? The car seems fine. Oh, man. Hunt you down! Is this embarrassing that her scooter's almost faster than mine? I'm trying to keep under the speed limit. That's why. Man, maybe I should just get one of those things. They seem pretty fast. I guess you can't get on the highway though, which is gonna be a problem. Sorry, gotta cut you off, because I gotta get gas. Actually, no, I just got gas. You never know, because the bike, when it doesn't warm up, it's always on empty and it scares you. And uh, it's been like 200 kilometers since I filled up, so I gotta go fill up. It's about time. But today I am just going off to uh, the uh, social security office so I can tell them that I'm a real person and that I deserve to get paid just like every other person that does work here. Uh, because right now, even though I've started work for a day, literally a day, I'm only a day in, I, um, I can't get paid because I don't have, like, apparently Homeland Security doesn't know I'm a person yet or something like that, so. It is really warm out. Uh, when I walked out first, it was kind of chilly, so I put, like, a sweater on underneath this gear. Uh, if uh, I knew it would be so warm, I probably wouldn't have worn that. And I'm referring to the sweater, because I'll probably wear gear. It's not that warm yet. It takes like a certain amount of heat for me to finally give up and just go out in like a t-shirt or something. But it's not that hot yet. Thank God. I do think it is important to wear gear, even though like, you know, all of us technically, I think, well, many of us who say that are all hypocrites, because at some point or other, we'll go out without gear. Uh, and you'll see me like in the dead heat of summer in shorts and stuff and burning my calves, which is a really dumb idea, I think, to wear uh, shorts when riding, just because uh, you gotta be careful because there's a lot of really hot shit underneath there. Uh, and the number of times that I've like touched something, supposedly the, like, the exhaust gets up to like a thousand degrees or something, thing uh i don't really know if that's true but it certainly will burn the fuck out of you if you touch it while i'm on this topic maybe i'll uh, shoot up some shoot up uh maybe i'll uh, give some tips out or something to some new riders if you're thinking about riding as uh, starting ride to ride learning to ride whatever getting your first bike and all that shit all that jazz uh i do suggest you get you do like spend all your money on gear uh every little penny that you have buy something good. A lot of people will say like, oh, you know, you don't need uh, whatever, you can just wear jeans or a jean jacket or something. I'll tell you now, I had jeans in my last crash and that shit, like, I don't even think it, I think it like got scared, chickened out and tore before I even hit the ground because I literally lost all the skin in my knees and going down my calf and it was just a whole bloody mess. So get some leathers. They have, uh, you know, a lot of them will come with like, um, with the knee pads and stuff and they have a certain they've been tested for their ability to slide for a certain distance or whatever without heating up and stuff because the thing is if you get thrown to this is another thing if your jean jacket or whatever tears on you uh you're gonna get like burns as well like it's not just chafing because that skin that rubs on the ground heats up and people get like second degree burns and shit like it's not like it's not just bloody mess it's like well i guess it'll cauterize it for you as well uh another thing turns holy shit i just lost traction there uh i was just gonna say that you should always slow down when you turn uh, especially in areas like this where it's kind of rural i don't know how i didn't fall there i think only one of my wheels lost traction but there was a lot of sand this is the thing be careful of sand. I know everyone's always like, oh, you know, you want to push your bike, you want to drag me and all that stuff. Go to the track. That's how I did it. That's how everyone should do it. Dead animal. Cup. Uh, but you should not 
uh, be doing that at, especially if you're like out here in the middle of buttfuck nowhere or at, near any construction zone, because literally if one wheel slips, you're on a unicycle. If the other wheel slips, you're on the floor in a turn. Nobody ever crashes. This is the thing, nobody ever crashes going straight. You only crash in turn. When you turn, you want like most of your weight on the inside and that's why people will have to lean their bike. Uh, but the more that you lean your body, the less you'll have to lean your bike to negotiate the same turn. Because basically how it works is like physics. Uh, and that's it. I didn't really know how to explain it. Like the more you'll have to lean your bike, the less traction your tires have. So always try to lean your own weight in before you lean your bike. Uh, but if you want to like learn to drag knee and do all this stuff, seriously go out to the track. They will make sure that it is clean. You can't run coolant. You'll have to run water in your uh, in your in your reservoir. In your, what is that called? in your yeah i don't know the word i can't think of it right now run water in your engine because this is the thing like every little thing that might spill might drip might slip somebody you can't run so you know that that place is clean if it's like a little bit of rain out everybody's off the track like they'll make sure that you can really push your bike to whatever it can do and then at that point you can really start to practice uh it doesn't really make sense for people to practice i think out out in the open road um Oh. oh, and you know what? This is just a pet peeve of mine. I'm gonna get this out there, um, as well as a tip for bikers and drivers and everybody. If you are turning right, this is a thing. I swear to God, every single person who turns right is looking left because they're so scared um, of like oncoming traffic that even when the light is green, they'll like look left as if someone's gonna charge through their red light to come hit you. Meanwhile, this is the thing, I think it's fine to look left and if it's a red light, you definitely have to look left, but don't edge out. Every single person, I swear to God, bikers tend to be better with this, but cars are awful with this, is they start edging out and they're moving right as they're looking left. And then, God forbid, I don't want to turn left here. Um, but then they're like edging out and then they look, when they finally turn look right, there's a fucking pedestrian there. And then the pedestrian's like scared shitless because you're, going towards them looking the other direction and then they're like oh my god and they suddenly break and then you know it's all a disaster and this happens so many times just stop check out the left do whatever you got to do and then when you're going right actually please look the direction you're going because i cannot count the number of times as a pedestrian myself that i start crossing the road and i look and there's a car coming towards me they're turning right uh and their head is literally looking the other direction for a biker you're both probably going down so make sure you stop uh, if you're gonna look left if you're going right make sure if you're moving basically right you should be looking right you know and all of this is just my opinion okay like based on my experience of riding for a couple of years and stuff uh, I really do suggest you um, I know unpopular opinion I do suggest you take a look at crashes and read up on crashes and stuff I know a lot of people are like oh what a downer what a but if you're getting into riding and you're doing it because our peer pressure because only because it seems like a good idea or it seems really cool and you're not aware of the risks I think you're in for a tough surprise when you crash and you realize you like tore your arm off or you know you like busted up your spine and you're paralyzed like you got to know the stories you got to know when people say shit like um riding is like heroin uh once you start you'll never stop and you don't know which one will kill you first um you know you got to know what they're talking about when people say shit like that because it really is uh a dangerous thing to be riding you just i think it's i think it's smart to prepare yourself and to be aware that those are the risks that you're getting into and then still do it if that's really what you want, you know? And I do think, like, I don't think anyone, like, I would never personally tell anyone that they should pick up riding even though I do it all the time. So I'm totally lying right now. No, but I mean, I try, I do tell people that it's amazing and stuff and it will change your life. But um, it is still, like, you gotta know the risks. And that's why I always feel like a little bit nervous telling people that they should ride and stuff. I think it's coming up soon, but I'm not 100% sure. So let's keep going. Uh, let's see what other advice I have. 250 versus 600s uh, for beginners. Your first bike. Should you get a smaller bike like this, a 250 or a 650, which will uh, be heavier and whatnot? It's not that much heavier. My opinion, honestly, might be a little bit biased because I've been riding a 250 for so many years. I'm probably the longest owner of a 250, uh, and at this point, only semi-proud of this fact. Uh, I do want to upgrade, 
but it, there's just never been a reason to and I said this before it's just because if I'm in Toronto um, there's no point in getting this really powerful engine going through a city that you can't get past like 15 kilometers an hour in so I just I've never upgraded I kept it here but the thing is uh, so my opinion uh, I honestly don't really have so I've been on a 602 and I'll say that it is heavy but it's rideable and all those people that will say like oh your first bike you have to get a 250 the only thing that I suggest about 250s is that they're a lot cheaper uh, a 250cc engine is a lot lighter uh, and when you do drop it which you might and you probably will uh, because it's your first bike uh, you it's you're not gonna go down by that much you know like you're in terms of money like you're not blowing this a ton of money on this like big bike and then you crash it and it's awful you know uh, it's a good bike to just drop and the thing is it sells really easily because everyone who starts on a bike typically starts on those bikes so everyone's gonna get one this is another tip fix your own bike yourself there's so many tutorials out there that will help you fix the majority of your problems if you really can't do it then you know obviously at some point you'll have to take it to a mechanic but doing your regular maintenance and your regular stuff get to know your bike it's a really great way to pick up to you know hone your mechanical skills and pick up basically more enjoyment of your bike uh, I don't know how to say that any more eloquently without thinking really hard about it it takes a long time every time but once you do it you, you learn it and it's there and you can do it again if you ever needed to and uh, you know you might have to spend some money buying tools but this is the thing you buy a tool you own it you pay for labor it'll cost you the same and you don't get any tools out of it you know oh I think I'm here actually I think it's around here somewhere uh, I have my GPS is like yelling at me. They're like, turn left. Uh, not here though. This is my bank. I know my bank. Uh, oh no, it's right here. I think this is right here. It's like, turn left. Okay. Uh, God damn that road. Look at this shit. Whoa.